Hey guys, uh, Mr. Ballion here, Alexi Ballion. So I'm just gonna recreate this for you guys. And you know, there's so many ways to apply a certain method for an end result. As you guys well know that uh, in within within the program that I run, I don't necessarily teach software as it is it is created. I teach aspects of the software in terms of tools to get to an end result. Okay. So one of the things I've done with you guys, I've actually, um, I've, I've made versions of this. So I'm just going to redo it again. And let's see where we go together as a journey, okay? So I'm just going to select everything here. I'm going to press G for grab. And then I'm looking at the red axes. I'm going to say, sorry, X, and I'm going to go across here, okay? So that's what we're going to need, some version of that. Okay, so let's get this going here. Um, I will be grouping the hat together, and this time I will be using, instead of using Add Mesh Icosphere, I'm going to use UV Spheres, okay? So as you can see here, it starts with 35 segments. You can reduce it to whatever you want. Oh my goodness, how did I get to that number? <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to say whatever, like 30. Who knows? 30, okay? There it is. That's my sphere. Okay. So understanding that, I'm going to say bye-bye to that sphere. So right now, there's 30 segments, 30 vertices, there, uh, and so forth, right? So proportionally, this is the first one. So what I want to do is duplicate it twice, and each one possibly scale it and use the tools that Blender has, okay? So you guys know Shift-D is duplicate, right? So I need to select this bad boy right here, and right now, and there it is, right there. It's in space. So if I go Shift D, it better work. Okay, now see, it's it's flying all around, right? So the minute I press Z, it's constrained. So there it is. Uh, now Shift R should repeat the last step. This is very similar to in, in Maya, okay? So let me just get out of that lighting mode. Let's go in here. Okay, so let's look at this. So right now, this piece here, do we have any information on it right here? It's one by one by one. So think of it as scale, right? So look at this right here, without understanding how scale works. So you can go scale, you can type S, and you go 1.25, for example. Just type in 1.25, that's what you get. You see that? So if I click on the third one, I can come in here, do the same thing, and go, you know what, I want 1.55. I'm making stuff up here. So Y, scale 1.55. Okay, okay, that did not look like I did anything there, 1.55 and 1.55 again okay i gotta click i guess 1.5 aye, aye, aye. okay let's go uh backspace <laughs> dude this is not that difficult man let's go 1.55 so you see i just made three spheres okay so bring one up bring the other one up and then using the move the axes here fair enough right nice and you can decide on your proportions accordingly all right good to go Next, I'm going to, so one of the beautiful things I mentioned before in all the apps, doesn't matter if I'm using Maya, Blender, or whatever else, I'm starting in the origin here, X, Y, and Z being zero. So now if I go in here and I go add cylinder, for example, there it is, bring it up. Okay, there's my cylinder. Actually, that looks pretty good. Maybe I'll make it a touch, touch smaller. So what do I do here? Let's see. So if I go, if I hit S for scale, like that, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna <laughs> left click to accept it. Let's see what happened. So left click accepts, right click doesn't apparently in this software. So if I just go like this, so if I go 0.85, 0.85, and down, 0.85, enter. See, we've got that. Nice, right? Okay, cool. So uh, we're gonna continue. Same idea. We're gonna duplicate Shift D. And look, it's flying all over the place, but the minute I press Z, it constrains itself, right? So there it is. I'm going to make the bottom of the top half there. So if I put S now, look, scale is going out of hand here, X, Y, Z at the same time. Look over here on the right. See, it's all going at the same time. So what I want to do is press Z. So now it only scales on the Z. See? Okay. Now if I go scale again and I go out a bit, voila, there it is right here. Oops, wrong one. This is the bottom of the top hat. Here we go. Okay. So now I'm just holding shift, as you can see, or middle mouse. So you see uh, it's screencast is on. And sweet, it's happening. All right. So let me press number, I mean, uh, period. 
to zoom in on what I've selected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this guy again, and I'm going to make the ribbon, okay? So Shift D, see, we're always repeating, and then Z on the Z, no, 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 stay, stay. I have no idea what I just did. Do I have a second? No, I don't. Okay, so let's try that. Shift D, okay, cool. So Z, now I'm going to press S for scale, right? Coming down, something like that. And then I'm going to press S again, and I'm going to bring the cursor out. See these, these double arrows? Just come up like that. Okay, cool. And then we'll just bring it down here. This will be my ribbon. Okay, looking at this, the top hat looks really thick here. So S for scale, and we'll go to Z, and we'll make that thinner. Okay, voila. There. Sorry, what's going on with me in French today? No idea. Okay. So now i got the ribbon. I'm going S again, scale, and I'm just going to bring it in. Okay, sweet. All right, cool. And as you notice, the other one is tapered out. Okay, so again, this is all review. This is a good review, actually. So if I go into edit mode, which is tab, okay, and uh, because I haven't touched my, uh, my settings, if I press 1, it should be vertices up here. See, vertices. 2, it's edges. 3 are faces, right? So this bad boy is selected here. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to come out of that. Just go, just go back to object mode. I'm going to select a top hat and possibly taper, taper it out a bit, okay? So, But to do that, what you need to do in this software, unfortunately, you need to go to wireframe. I have no idea why, okay? I'm not the blender dude. So let's go object, edit mode, and I'm going to press 1 right here, and I'm going to select these guys, press S for scale, and just scale it out a touch, okay? And then we're going to go back to shaded mode, and you can see there's a touch of that. Now, if I want to rotate this, this is where it gets a little confusing for me. I'm just, if I press, let's say, like, look, right here I have green is in going in one way, and I'm going to press X, for example. See? Right there. It just did a, a certain axis. That's not X for me. That looks like Y, but who knows, right? Could be Z for all I care. So the way they do things in Blender is certainly different than Maya. Okay. All right, so this part is cool. Now I'm going to uh, step out here. I'm going to press tab to get out of that. I'm going to select the ribbon, and I want to, again, I want to taper the bottom of the ribbon, okay? Because right now it's not looking great for me. So again, tap to get into edit mode. And one is here, and then, then again, I have to do the same thing. Go to wireframe and select these guys down in the bottom. So if I press S right now, and I just, just slightly tapered it, that to me is thinking further ahead. Okay, so we're, we're, we're getting very detailed here. There it is. Now I'm going to go tap to get out of that mode. Cool. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine all three of these to one thing. And instead of calling it cylinder, look, this one is cylinder. This one should be ribbon as the bottom of the hat, whatever, right? So I'm going to hold shift, one, left click, shift, left click. And then I think it's control J for join. Okay, so that's grouped together. And I'm going to call this top hat number two, top chapeau two. Okay, there it is. I think it did it. Where'd it go? I have no idea. Oh, there it is. Good. So if I go bye-bye, gone. Okay, cool. So let's get into a uh, few more things, and I'll shut this down. Now, I, I love this perforated look, okay? So just, just so you know, I'm going to take a step back. So in this software, if you right-click right now, go Shade Smooth. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous, okay? That is absolutely gorgeous, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something here. I'm going to – now, look, you remember these guys, right? If I hold Alt and, and just, like, look how cool that is. Alt and middle scroll, and then, look, I've got some really cool views going here. It's orthographic views, so I'm assuming by pressing Alt and middle scroll, I'm able to go ortho mode without going into the, uh, the tripod here. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, watch this. We're going to do some cool stuff here. So I'm going to go back to Edit, Tab. And I'm going to color stuff, okay? So now they're all together. They're a happy family. So I'm going to go to wireframe, and I'm going to say faces, please. Alt, boom. See this? The minute you press Alt, it'll select the entire family. Okay? So we're going to go into our happy beach ball here. I'm going to press new. All right? I'm sorry. I'm going to press plus, then new. And I'm going to name this uh, hat to, and then base, whatever, because I have another one, Okay? So what color is this going to be? Is it going to be white? Nope. I'm going to go with maybe, uh, let's go with a dark, dark red of some kind will end up to be by, like a brown instead of black. There. Done. Okay. Sweet. Done. All right. 
So that part's done, selected, right? So now if I zoom, uh, okay, so if I press period, no, nope, nothing is selected. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just, <laughs> oh my God, it reminds me, one of my instructors, my teachers in animation, he whistles, so I'm whistling. Imagine that. Okay, alt, left click here. Nice. Okay, so this whole thing is selected, right? The bottom of my top hat, right? So now all I'm going to do is see how we have hat base selected? Assigned. Yes, people, it's possible. So let me try this one. Alt, boom. Nope, that did not work. That's not the right one. So I'm going to click out here and I'm going to go, well, you know what? Let's go into perspective mode. Okay, enough of this. And let's go to shaded here for a second. So I'm in, I'm in. So let's see here. Alt, boom. All right, good. And I'm going to go shift up here. Get that. Okay. If I want to be really technical, I'll, I'll just, uh, okay, I need, I need to get out of this, okay? Enough, people. No, I just want to get in here and let's see what I can do. I can zoom out a bit and press period to zoom in, okay? So that's good enough. Anyway, let's say the ribbon, right? I'm going to give it a new color. So I'm going to go with some kind of a fuchsia, pink, orange, who knows? Let's go for it, okay? So I'm going to say ribbon, uh, rib orange, shift orange of some kind. All right, there it is. So let's make that color. Let's go in this. Yeah, that's it. <sighs> nice. Okay, so now this, this hat has three elements, right? So if I go into this kind of mode here, I should see my colors. How nice is that? See? The other one was like that. So if I get out of this mode and go to object mode, which is tap. Hey, what just happened here? Oh, we got a problem, Johnny. Okay, I don't know what happened here because I had the... <laughs> okay, stop that. Okay, I was here. Okay, I'm gonna go into edit mode. I'm here. Okay, I gotta get it. Where? What am I selecting here? Let's go to top hat number two here on the side. Should be this guy here, right? Okay, there we are. And I'm gonna click here. Okay, there's something going on. I better get out of this. Go to object mode. The hat is selected. You guys all see it. We're gonna solve this together. This is the beauty of being in a new application. We run into problems. Let's solve it. Okay. So if the minute I set tab, I'm on the, hey, look at these guys, they're selected. So what's the problem here? It says rib orange, unless there's two of these guys. I don't know, I don't know there. Okay, so that to me looks like, oh wait, I didn't press assign. <gasps> Woo, yes, in this application, okay? So you need to <laughs> see, I solved it, awesome. So the minute I press assign, that just, just because I clicked here, it doesn't mean I assigned it, okay? So we're learning and I'm reminding myself that the sign is integral, it's important. Okay, cool, let's go, let's go, we're done here. I'm gonna get out of this, I'm gonna press tab, sweet. Now I'm gonna go for something like a, um, I'm gonna go with some kind of a snow color, right? Of course, off-white into a blue reflection from the sky and so forth, okay? So we're gonna go boom plus new here and I'm gonna go uh, snow sky, whatever, just so you guys know what I'm doing here, snow sky, sky. Okay, so it's gonna be close to white, Okay, but I'm gonna be in the blue zone. You can see there. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm not. I'm, I'm looking at the screen there. Okay, whatever. It's all good. Like if I go here, that's extreme, as you know, right? So I'll just go across. Oh man, that's too aqua. Okay, we're gonna come in here. Okay, that looks sweet. All right, snow sky, right? Okay, so now should we? That's good. Now if I click on this one, so now I'm gonna go into this beach ball here and find that snow sky. And then boom, it's selected. This one here, same thing. Got get go to the beach ball, snow sky. Okay, look at that. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll select shift, select these two down here, right click, and I'm gonna shade smooth. Look how nice that is, eh, guys? Oh, okay, that's that's really sweet. Okay, thank you, Blender. That looks man amazing. Okay, so let me just do something really small. I'm gonna put some um, on whatever. I'm gonna put ground in here. So I'm just gonna go add, and I'm gonna go to plane. I didn't you know, want to do this right now. I'm going to hit scale, yeah, something like that. Okay, here. Now let's see, what can I do on the right clicks here? Shade smooth? Nope, don't want that. Okay, so if I go tab, what, what other new options do I have here? Subdivide, qu'est-ce que c'est? <gasps> can I do that again? <laughs> okay. There's got to be, okay, this is cool, because last time, okay, I'm going to do this many times. Boom, subdivide again. Oh, this is sweet. Okay, I'm getting too excited. 
All right, so now the crazy value here. So this is my plane, right? So look, I'm in vertex mode. So let's say if I select a bunch of verts here, right? And press G for grab and then Z for up. And look, see, we're going up. All right. And then I'm going to select a bunch of these guys and then G again, G's grab. Or just go to this arrow tool here and say, okay, Bellion, I don't believe in those keys that you use. Okay, so there you go. So select a bunch of these guys, up it goes. All right. So that works. And in here, I'm grabbing a bunch of verts, vertices, and so forth. Okay. And then I'm going to bring that up. Now, because I don't have my stylus right now, it's connected to my laptop. Let's see what can we do here. Under edit mode, should be sculpt mode, right? Let's see what this guy does here. Right here, the first one, okay? So, boom, boom, nothing. Nothing, absolutely nothing. How about strength? We crank this strength up. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, yeah, that's kind of cool. See? It's going up. Oh, 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 I need more cuts in here. I need, basically, I need more vertices to make this really interesting. Okay, guys? So, look at that. Look how sweet that is. Oh, Okay, I'm losing my mind. And then there's this one here I've discovered. It's an orange. This one here, flatten. Flatten, you say? So basically, I think, let me just strengthen this somewhere in here. Let me just see. Like, So basically, it should smooth things out. What's going on here? I press shift. Oh, okay, I'm pressing shift. Oh, look at that. That's looking sweet. Okay, I think that's nice, okay? So I'm in here like this. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get out of this. I'm going to go to object mode. Select my chapeau, and what I'll do is I'll press rotate, and I'll just, just ding it over, and then I'll just go to move here. If you don't remember the G grab and all that, just use these arrows, okay? So, and then bring this down, and then obviously you guys can actually add eyes and so forth, which are spheres, okay? So, this is looking sweet. Oh, my God, I love it. Let's see. Is there something in here? Render image. Okay, I have no idea what I've done here, so... Clearly, this is not the shot. Oh, I know why. The camera's in here. Wait a minute, camera. I'm going to get rid of you. Where's that camera? Camera, press X. See ya. So what I want to do is just, just come in here and be a neophyte and just, just come in here and see what this software will do for me, okay? Just going to come in here and do the same thing. Render image. image. I mean, oh, oh, please don't crash. <gasps> okay, okay, maybe because I don't have a camera. Okay. I went too far. I went I went beyond beyond see error. So I need I need to just kind of render what I see basically. And I'll I'll get to that in another lesson, okay? So um that was a fail ending, people. Fail. But let's go back to layout. There it is. This is kind of cool. Ooh, ooh, wait, there's no animation. In my opinion, this is pretty cool. So you have the option, which is nice, right? Look how nice this is, smooth, non-smooth. So if I go to this one and right-click, shade smooth, boom. Let's take this one as flat. Let's see what that looks like. I have no idea what that looks like. It's the same thing, isn't it? Smooth, right there, see? That's nice. Okay, I had fun. I hope you guys did and uh, enjoy this recording. This is where we're at, okay? And what I could do, uh, technically, I should come in here and make another version of, for the snow and so forth. Okay, but I think we're good, guys. I gotta stop. This was too much fun. Valiant, please tell me there's a stop. It was recording, right? <gasps> what?